Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Nadia Tusoleha I'm from class 5C of English Education Islamic State University Sharif Hidayatullah, Jakarta Okay, I will explain about TED Talks analysis that I have met The speaker's name is Emily Oster Emily Oster is professor of economics at Brown University Oster Academic works focus on health, economic, and statistical methods. She is interested in understanding why consumers don't always make rational health choice. Oster has written two books, Aspecting Better Analyze the Data Behind Many General Rules of Pregnancy and Aims to Improve Decision Making for Pregnant Women. In the TED Talks, She speech about flip your thinking on AIDS in Africa. The talk summary is, AIDS is a disease caused by poverty in which the economy greatly affects the rapid spread of this virus with the fact that development open trend is very good for developing countries to improve people's welfare. But opens and connectedness come at the expense of something which is a disease. AIDS first occurred in the United States and spread rapidly due to distribution of economies in various countries. And maybe truck drivers or moving people are much more likely to be infected in many economic and urban areas. Only Uganda, Sub-Sahara Africa, could tackle the spread of AIDS by carrying out an ABC campaign carried out in the 90s, in which other countries and Africa presidents tried to follow Uganda's way by pledging $15 billion to fight the outbreak over five years. However, it returns to the habit of its residents who consider it trivial and don't care that maybe their life is only 10 years away. That's what has happened a lot about AIDS especially in Africa. Emily's type of presentation is informative speech, which is the opposite of persuasive speech because it doesn't relate to the audience emotion but relies more on fact, studies, and statistics. The river Emily delivered it seriously and did not use jokes at all in her speech. From the video, we can see her body language is a bit stiff, but she can easily overcome it by walking and moving place while explaining the contents of speech. She also always looks at the audience and at the data percentage screen and returns to see the audience again. From the way she speaks, even though she is fast, she uses language that is easy to understand, doesn't give difficult language. She uses what she show as an example of what she presented. However, because Emily took the materials of her speech seriously, the audience response was also very serious, no jokes or laughter from the audience. In the speech, we can see Emily present her speech using reciting from memory, where she presents a speech that's come from memory. She shows a picture on the screen in graphic form, then she explains in detail without looking at the text, as if she remembered all the things she had done in the research. Emily conveyed what was on her mind that described in easy to understand language and gave some real example that she had seen before about AIDS. Okay, maybe that is enough for me on this video. And uh, thanks for your attention guys. And don't forget to give your comment and thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.